You know, on the question of regulation, I think it's great that different countries are going to try different things. Some countries will probably ban AI. Some countries will probably say no guardrails at all. Both of those, I think, will turn out to be suboptimal. And we'll, we'll get to see different things work. But as these systems become more powerful, um, as, they, as they become more deeply integrated into the economy, as they become something we all use to do our work, and then as things beyond that happen, as they become capable of discovering new scientific knowledge for humanity, even as they become capable of doing AI research at some point, um, the world is going to change more slowly and then more quickly than, than we might imagine. But the world is going to change. Um, this is you know, a thing I, I always say to people is no one knows what happens next. And I really believe that. And I think keeping the humility about that is really important. You can see a few steps in front of you, but not too many. Um, but when cognition, when the cost of cognition falls by a factor of a thousand or a million, when the capability of it becomes, uh, it augments us in ways we can't even imagine. You know, uh, like one example I, I try to give to people is, what if everybody in the world had a really competent company of 10,000 great virtual employees, experts in every area? They never fought with each other. They didn't need to rest. They got really smart. They got smarter at this rapid pace. What would we be able to create for each other?